We've got two coaches essentially selling the same thing. One stuck at around 10K a month, Coach A, and Coach B is rocking it at 100K a month. What do we typically see as the difference between these two? So it's usually something a lot more simple and easy to understand, but most people overlook it. And that's usually how they're talking about their offer. Coach B has nailed it, whereas Coach A hasn't. So in my experience as director of marketing, uh, for several SaaS companies having to generate hundreds of thousands of leads and con convert those leads into millions in revenue, the one thing that was really cool about that opportunity was a lot of times I got to see behind the scenes of what these people were doing. So the coaches that were making you know, 75, 100, 150 to 200K a month, I got to look behind the scenes in their business and see what was really going on. And it wasn't that they had offers that it was like, oh man, they're gonna get this, 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 and this. And they weren't taking a page out of you know, Alex Hermosi's $100 million offer and piling stuff on just trying to make it good. That's what this person was doing. These people, they were able to communicate something so easy and simple and tie it to tangible results. And so let me highlight what I mean by that. So Coach A, their main focus is on connection with people like connection with their audience. So the people that are buying from them are buying the coach. They're not actually buying the program or, the, or, or whatever it is that they're selling because they've got a connection with these people. And so that means it takes a lot of work to warm up their audience and to build that relationship, which is why they're struggling and kind of stuck around 10K a month. And granted, that's a good amount of money, but when they're selling the same thing and these guys are making way more and doing way less work, it seems like something's off here. And so what we see with these types of offers is usually it's like something generic, you know, I'll help your marketing work better. And it, it doesn't really tie into the really high profit pain points that the audience is having or the things that they're actively out there Googling day in and day out trying to solve. It's just kind of like in general, yeah, I'll help it be better, but there's no like real tangible results. Whereas Coach B, the one making 100K a month and just crushing it while doing less, what, what I've seen these guys do that's really, really cool is their offer is actually way more simplified and scaled back, but tied to a tangible result. Because here's the thing, like with both of these, these audiences are essentially the same, but these people on Coach B side, they're buying a tangible result, whereas these people are just buying the coach because they think the coach can help them. Whereas over here, it's like, I'm gonna get this thing because it's gonna give me this result and help me move my business forward. And these coaches all focus on communication. Communicating what they do, how they do it, and how it's going to affect their business and what result it's gonna get them. That is what they focus on. And they're able to do that in such a way that they can explain their offer in a sentence or two and people are like, oh my gosh, that's exactly what I want. Because they've identified what that action-oriented problem is. Again, that thing that people are just Googling all day, every day, trying to solve that one thing. They've aligned their offer with that problem and said, hey, if you have this problem, I have this thing that solves it and here are the results you can expect. So, you know, like I can help you 3X the leads you're generating from your webinar and I can convert at least two of them a month into high ticket clients. So that is what they're buying. That's the result they're buying. And they can communicate that in a very simple and easy to understand way, which then makes having the connection way less important to getting revenue. And when you have that dialed in where your offer is clear, it's simple, it's easy to understand and people actually want it, then you don't have to pile on all this kind of stuff to make it a valuable offer. You can just say, hey, I have this one simple thing and it's gonna get you this result. Do you want it? So if you wanna move from being coach A to being coach B where you're making more revenue in your business, the main thing that you need to focus on is being able to clearly communicate your offer and tie that offer to the thing that your audience is saying that they want to solve. Not what you know they need to solve, but what they are saying that they wanna solve. When you do that, you can start moving from connection base to communication base, and then you can also do less with your offers and make more money with them. So if you wanna move from coach A to coach B, hit me up, let me know uh, what kind of issue you're having with your offer, and we can talk through it either in the comments or we can hop on Zoom and talk through it. And I guarantee you by the time we get done, I'll give you my four question framework that usually can flip this in 30 minutes or less and get you an offer that you can clearly and easily communicate.